All right, Guardians, today I'm going to show you how to get the Ace of Spades. There are a few steps to this, but overall, it's not too bad. Now, first of all, you'll have to get the ace back from Aldrin Sov by beating Forsaken's campaign. Do this, and you'll get a quest step in your inventory. You'll need parts for the gun and telemetry data to get it fixed. First step, kills with any hand cannon in Gambit. Now, they originally required you to get invader kills, but have since changed that to just killing regular enemies. Three or four rounds of Gambit tops and you should be good to go. Next up, you'll need to get 250 hand cannon kills in strikes. These can be any level strikes, so don't worry about difficulty. This should take you three runs or so. After that, you'll need 25 precision kills with a hand cannon in Crucible. This is a lot easier than it sounds, and I was able to get to around 6 to 10 kills every game. Using a hand cannon with a precision frame will definitely help. I recommend using Trust if you have it. With that in the bag, you'll need to hunt down Cade's caches on Nessus, Io, the Tangled Shore, and the EDZ. Now, this part's a little tricky, so I'll go into a little detail. Let's start with Nessus. Fast travel to the Exodus Black and hop on your Sparrow. Turn right while facing the wreck and drive for this cave entrance. Follow the tunnel to the sunken cavern and dismount. Go left and head for the walls lit up in gold. The chest is up there, hidden slightly in an alcove. If you look real close, you can see the faint shine of the chest. For all of these as well, you'll get a prompt in the lower left hand corner that says Cade stash nearby when you start getting close. Okay, next up, EDZ. This one is very easy to find. Fast travel to the Sunken Isles, hop on your Sparrow, and drive towards the Cabal Hangar and through this section. Dismount and go through the corridors till you come out the other side into here. The chest will be on your left in this cargo bay. Uh, off to Io for the next one. Land at Lost Oasis and head for Terra Base Charon. Dismount and enter the door to the left. You'll go through some corridors and wind up down in the Wraith Mines. Follow the path until you get to this chamber with the upper level. Jump up there, follow the tunnel to this next room, and that will lead you to a ledge above a large drill, and you'll see this basket on the end of a crane hook. The chest is to your left, a few jumps, and it's yours. Last but not least, the Tangled Shore. Go to Thieves Landing and take a left towards Jetsam of Saturn. Hang a left at the wrecked hive ship and go down this tunnel to get to Hellrise Canyon. Enter the cave and take the tunnel at the back and slightly to the right. It'll take you down and keep following it to the left. That'll lead you to this open area with the wrecked ship and you'll find the chest just on the other side. With all those collected, the last step is unlocked, a quest called Ace in the Hole. There's a glitch with this one where you'll get transported to the place, but the mission won't actually start. Uh, I fought through tons of enemies just to have to restart it, so take note and make sure a prompt that reads Find Cade's Ten Stashes pops up. They're pretty easy to find, so just keep an eye out for the glimmer of the chest and open them all. This will give you the parts you need to repair the ace. Go back to Banshee 44 and bing bang boom, the ace is now yours. Comes with a couple of great perks, the best one being keeping the radar on while you're aiming down the sights, not on like knucklehead radar. It's got a little kick to it, and I'd say it's more effective at medium range, but get a kill and you'll get a reload speed buff, as well as extra damage for a limited amount of time. Oh, and bots will also explode into balls of fire if you kill them. You've got 12 shots to work with, so plenty to make your enemies read them and weep. Let's see it in action. Okay, against bots. Pretty effective. And for Crucible, let's take a look. Oof. Youch. Yeah, he's dead. There you have it, Guardians. I hope you're enjoying the expansion, and stay tuned for more walkthroughs, guides, and all-around awesome Destiny videos. Be sure to follow me on social as well for even more gaming news, trailers, and reviews. Until next time, happy hunting, Guardians.